awesome sighting it is indeed. Welcome to Wild Earth TV, live from Gauri. We've got a family of rhinos. Uh, most of you guys must have seen rhinos yesterday evening, and uh, I'm sure they're enjoying one of these pictures. Enjoy. Hello again everybody and welcome back to the Game Drive Vehicle. Um, we've just arrived here at um, Gary Waterhole and uh, well, I'm sure you knew before me but there's four, actually it looks more like three and a half rhino here. So we're just going to actually, let's go this side here, let's get some nice lights on them. Um, actually down, this is absolutely amazing down right here at the waterhole. One, two, three, four and a youngster. You can see they are um, a little bit uh, cautious. I don't want to scare them off because this is a really beautiful opportunity to spend some time with them. Around those have got very, very poor eyesight. So they might be a bit uncertain of what this is, but they are definitely familiar with the sound. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's uh, perfect timing. As we stop the vehicle, we all run off. It's one this big male. And, um, he's uh, he's uh, still down there in the water himself, actually coming to have a little bit closer. Look, look at that, isn't that an impressive animal? And there you go, the rest of them are trotting off into the distance. Yeah, Sydney, uh, it's uh, Mark here from uh, Wild Earth. Um, we've got uh, four, four in combi with one month one. They're slowly heading east towards um, Vubu Road now, just along the drainage line. Yeah, there's four, four in combi. Four in combi here at Sabuyatela Water, and they now mobile east uh, away from the waterhole along the drainage line. very interesting if you look at the look at this animal's head just how bizarre it is I mean it's got a very long skull structure very long head <clears throat> and those eyes are placed down quite low down in the head <laughs> again looks like he's trying to break for a piece of box very strange behavior but by looking at those uh, eyes how low down they are 
um, on the head structure. I mean, imagine this animal walking through grass that's half a meter tall and he's busy feeding. That grass will totally cover up his eyes. He's not going to see a thing. He's going to have his eyes buried right inside the grass. And that's a very realistic situation. Uh, you know, bulk uh, uh, a grass feeder, um, that's, as he's walking around feeding, his eyes will be covered up by the grass. But what's very interesting is to look where the ears are placed. His ears are right on top of the head. So although the eyes aren't really used that uh, much, he doesn't have very strong eyesight, those ears will be right above the level of the grass and they'll be moving continuously in different directions independently picking up sounds. It's almost like big trumpets or fuzz or little satellite dishes. Um, you just see how they're moving around and he's listening to any sounds that come. Let's try and have a look and see where those uh, those the females and the 